Hey everybody, this is JC Human. I'm going to be showing you how to do some basic constructions. We will go over altitude, perpendicular bisectors, angle bisectors, and the median. So first, let's just start off by drawing a triangle. It doesn't really matter what triangle you're going to draw. For this particular um, example, I'm just going to use a scalene triangle. I typically like to use scalene triangles because they're good in all sorts of situations. Anyways, I'm going to make it an obtuse scalene triangle. Um, let's connect these points. Alright, so there we have our triangle. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Uh, so let's start with altitude. Alright. Now for altitude, this one's kind of tricky just because when you're using acute uh, triangles and right triangles, especially right triangles, uh, well, I mean, on obtuse triangles, you're going to go a bit outside for two of the sides. But uh, anyways, I'm just going to show you the basic construction of it. Now, you're going to want your compass to be at a distance where it will intersect the opposite line segment of your vertex at two different points. What I mean by that is, if I set my compass here, I'm going to want my arc to go to hit this line of the triangle at two different points. So it'll look something like this. So as you can see here, you have the arc intersecting here and here with the triangle. You're going to mark those two points. Now, keeping that same distance, you're going to create another little arc from one of the points of intersection, and then a second arc from the other point of intersection, and you will have another point. You're going to mark that point and then connect it with your original vertice, vertice that you used to create the first arc. And that's how you make the altitude. Alright, let's get a blank page paper. The second one that we're going to do is perpendicular bisector. This one is probably the simplest construction you'll have to do. Uh, it doesn't, none of them really matter what type of triangle you do them with. I will say that for altitude, it can be a bit harder. Um, altitude is just a bit harder because it's very precise when you're adjusting your compass. But anyways, let's get this. These two points connected. What's that? Uh, oh well. So you have your triangle. Kind of screwed up right there, but I don't use that. Uh, so for perpendicular bisector, you're going to take any line segment in your triangle and just kind of focus on that one line at the moment. You're going to find the two endpoints of it, so here and here. And from the first one, you're going to measure out a bit more than halfway of the distance to the other end of your line segment. And you're going to create a little arc. Then you're going to do the same thing from the other endpoint of your line segment that you chose. And from here you should have two arcs that intersect twice. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see that. Alright, you're just going to mark those two points where the arcs intersected. You're going to then draw a line between them. And voila, you have your perpendicular bisector. Uh, it's going to be a right angle all the time as perpendicular suggests. So that's it for that one. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go on to the median for a particular reason here. It um, doesn't really matter what kind of triangle you're using. I'm going to make a right triangle this time, just so you guys can see construction with the right triangle. Just measure out 9 degrees. And then connect those two points. All right, so here's our right triangle. All right. Now, as far as the median goes, you're going to do roughly the same thing that you did with your perpendicular bisector. You're going to choose any line segment in your triangle. I'm going to use this one. Take your compass, uh, mark or set it at the first endpoint of your line segment. 
measure more than halfway out to the next line sec to the next endpoint, and you're going to create an arc. Then you're going to do the same thing without changing the distance of your compass from the other point on your line. So we are given two arcs that intersect at two different points. We're going to mark those points. And then we're going to draw a line between them, which will give us our perpendicular bisector. But we're drawing the median here, so we don't... So why would we draw the perpendicular bisector? Uh, one second. My computer froze. I'm just going to log in really quick. All right. There we go. So let's get back on this. There we go. All right, so we formed our perpendicular bisector. Next, we're going to... Uh, mark the point where our perpendicular bisector intersects with the triangle, which would be right here. And then we're going to find the vertice of the triangle that's opposite to the base that the point we just made was on, which in this case would be here. So if you can see, this line segment is opposite this vertice. And then we're going to connect that point where the perpendicular bisector intersects with our triangle to our vertex. And that is your median. Alright. Now for angle bisector. I believe... Yeah, this is the last one. Uh, so let's get triangle here. doesn't matter, again, with any of these constructions, it does not matter what triangle you're using. Uh, altitude can get a bit tricky on obtuse triangles, but I, that's just even more reason to practice it. So let's go to our angle bisectors. So we just have a random triangle. Now we're going to select any vertice from our triangle. One second. Um, my lead, yeah, there it is. Okay. So you're just going to select any vertice on your triangle. Hey, no. Nope. No, you don't. Let's get the other protractor out of here. Okay, so just find, choose any vertice on your triangle, and you're going to find the line segment of the triangle that's opposite to your vertice. So if I were to use this vertice, this line segment's opposite. If I were to use this vertice, this line segment's opposite. Hopefully you can get what I'm saying. Now, this is very similar to perpendicular bisectors, except you're going to measure only a little more than half the dis distance between your vertices and the opposite line segment, rather than uh, more than half the distance between the two vertices. Or vertices. So anyways, you're going to create your arc, and then you'll have two points where the arc intersects on your triangle. From those two points, you are going to create two more arcs, as shown. Now the point that those two arcs created is what we're going to line up to make our angle bisector. So if you can see, this is generally what you should have. Alright, so you're just going to connect that little point we made to the vertice that you started with. And voila, you have your angle bisector. And those are all the steps for constructing both, or all of the ice constructions, perpendicular bisector, angle bisector, median, and altitude. 
I will see you guys later.